Welcome back to the third installment of the Cape Town Freediving Lockdown Breath Hold series. Before we go any further, make sure you have your mat or your couch ready. Make sure you have your nose clip or your clothes bag ready. Have a phone or tablet at hand. Make sure your body is comfortable, has their sweat band on, and has loosened up their fingers to hit that stopwatch. For a normal static, we usually do three warm ups and one max attempt. But you can play around with this by either doing more or less warm ups. Just remember, the more breath holds you do, the more you will tire, and that will affect your time later on. Let us break down the static into different phases. First up, we have the relaxation. Then we have our final breath. And then we have our actual breath hold, which again can be split into early stage, middle stage, and then the final or the fighting stage. And lastly, we have our recovery breathing. Before each static, take your time breathing with your diaphragm to induce relaxation. Slowly breathe in through your nose, down into your belly, and relax. Also, before doing a max static attempt, practice a few deep full inhalations like we showed in the previous video, just to get comfortable again with that full feeling. When you are ready and your sweat banded body is ready, it is time to take your last breath. And hold. Relax your belly, relax your chest, shoulders, neck, jaw, tongue. Let go of any tension you can find. We have now entered the early stage of our breath hold. This is the easy stage where we can let ourselves drift away, where we can enjoy the good vibration. Time becomes irrelevant. After a while, this varies greatly from individual to individual, you will start to feel a number of different sensations. These sensations are collectively known as the urge to breathe. You know, need to swallow, tension build up around the neck, heat build up in the chest and the head, and of course, the diaphragm trying to draw in every last molecule of oxygen, like the oak in front of you, loading the last rolls of toilet paper. Luckily, we know we are not running out of oxygen or toilet paper yet. We have entered the middle stage of the breath hold. Have your body note down when this happens, using previously agreed upon signals, simple things like raising a finger or opening and closing your hand. The urge to breathe is caused by a buildup of CO2 and not by a lack of oxygen. If you are interested in measuring O2 during a breath hold, let us know in the comment section below. We can always make a separate video about this. We want to keep relaxed and there are different techniques that can help us with this. Visualization, body scan, focusing on your surroundings and numbers. With visualization you might be familiar with this from yoga. Imagine yourself into a pleasant scenario, whether you have experienced it yourself before or you want to experience it. Floating over a coral reef, over a kelp forest, sitting at backline on your surfboard or imagine yourself on the mountaintop and recreate all your senses, sight, sound, smell, thought, and touch. Focus on your surrounding area. Listen to the wind outside, the birds in the trees, the lack of cars on the road. We are trying to take the focus from inside to what is happening outside. Body scan, we are trying to focus internally. We are systematically going through our body, relaxing any muscle groups we can find. Where you start or where you want to focus is entirely up to you. This is where your body can come in handy as well. They can point out tension in your body which you might not be aware of. Numbers, love them or hate them. It might help you to keep track of time. Others absolutely loathe them. Try different techniques or maybe a combination thereof and find something that works for you. At some stage, the urge to breathe will put its foot down. It will not be ignored. Similar to a four-year-old running around the house. How long you can withstand it depends on your CO2 tolerance. We have now entered the end stage of our breath hold. Contractions are walking on one another's heels. Enough heat build up in the head to burn away any unwanted visitors. And our body screaming for release from its confinement. Dealing with this is all about staying calm, relaxed and having a body there to point out any areas of tension. We are almost through it and blessed relief. But wait. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the intensity of the study just described should only be for your max. In the static session, keep track of the first contraction as well as the number of contractions. They can be used to measure breath hold if you're on a technology detox. I recommend structuring a session in the following manner. First static, hold until first contraction or set time, 1.30, 2 minutes. Second static, add 5 to 10 contractions on the first one or 30 to 60 seconds. Third static, double the amount of contraction or the time added. And the max. Hold for as long as possible. Have your body check for signs of hypoxia, which we've covered in the previous video. Did the results match your PB, your personal best? So please post the result in the comment section below or send them through to us personally. We will compile a list and keep track of the progress. If you are struggling with aesthetic, please give us a call, send us personal messages, post questions in the comment section below. We are here to help. Many of you might be wondering, how can I improve on this result? How can I deal with the urge to breathe? Does it go away? What kind of training can I do during this time when I'm not able to dive? We will answer those questions in the next videos. For now, get comfortable with the uncomfortable and enjoy your static session.